dive into the turbulent waters of the 17th century, a time when Europe was embroiled in one of the most devastating conflicts in history, the Thirty Years' War. The fuse of this catastrophic conflict was lit by a potent mix of religious tension and political ambition. The Protestant Reformation a century earlier had fractured the religious unity of Europe. In the ensuing chaos, the Holy Roman Empire struggled to assert control, while powerful nations like France and Sweden saw opportunities to expand their influence. The result was one of the longest and most destructive wars in the history of the continent. It wasn't just a war between nations, but a struggle for the soul of Europe itself. The death toll was staggering, with millions of lives lost to battle, disease, and the ravages of war. The Thirty Years' War, a cataclysmic series of battles, sieges, and treaties, set the stage for the pivotal Battle of Breitenfeld. As the war raged on, the events leading up to the Battle of Breitenfeld began to unfold. In the throes of the Thirty Years' War, a new player emerged on the European stage, Gustavus Adolphus, the King of Sweden. Known as the Lion of the North, Gustavus was not only a brave warrior, but also a shrewd strategist. His innovative military tactics would soon revolutionize warfare in Europe. Gustavus Adolphus had been carefully observing the war from the sidelines. Seeing the opportunity to strengthen Sweden's influence, he decided to intervene, but he knew he couldn't do this alone. He sought alliances, primarily with France, a Catholic power surprisingly willing to support Protestant Sweden against their common foe, the Habsburgs. This unlikely alliance was a testament to the complex political landscape of the time. Meanwhile, the Habsburgs, under the command of General Tilly, had been steamrolling their way through Europe. However, their path led them to a strategically significant location, Breitenfeld. Nestled near the important trade city of Leipzig, Breitenfeld was a crossroads of sorts, a gateway to the heart of Europe. Whoever controlled Breitenfeld effectively controlled access to major trade routes and the riches they held. Gustavus, recognizing the importance of Breitenfeld, knew he had to stop the Habsburgs there. He began to mobilize his forces, preparing them for the inevitable clash. His army was a sight to behold, disciplined and well-equipped, a stark contrast to the ragtag armies of the time. He introduced innovative tactics, such as flexible formations and combined arms that would soon become the norm in European warfare. As the Swedish forces marched towards Breitenfeld, the tension was palpable. The stakes were high, not just for Gustavus and his men, but for the future of Europe. The outcome of the impending battle would determine the balance of power in the region and potentially change the course of history. The stage was set, the players were ready, and the Battle of Breitenfeld was about to begin. On September 7, 1631, one of the most significant battles of the Thirty Years' War took place, the Battle of Breitenfeld. This was a momentous event where forces of the Holy Roman Empire faced off against the Swedish army under King Gustavus Adolphus. Arrayed on the battlefield, the Imperial Army, led by Count Tilly, boasted an impressive force. The Catholic League and Imperial troops, seasoned by years of warfare, stood in a traditional tercio formation, a dense, intimidating block of pikemen and musketeers. Count Tilly, a veteran commander, was confident in the strength of his forces and the proven tactics of the day. Opposing them, the Swedish army had adopted an innovative approach. King Gustavus Adolphus had reformed his forces into a more flexible formation. The Swedish brigades, composed of smaller mixed units of pikemen and musketeers, were designed for mobility and firepower. This new battle order allowed for greater tactical versatility on the battlefield, a fact that would soon become evident. As the battle commenced, the Swedish artillery unleashed a devastating barrage, disrupting the Imperial formations. The Swedish infantry then advanced, their superior firepower and maneuverability pressing the advantage. Despite fierce resistance, the Imperial forces found themselves outmatched and outmaneuvered. Count Tilly, seeing his forces falter, led a desperate charge against the Swedish right flank. However, the disciplined Swedish brigades held firm, repelling the assault and launching a counterattack that shattered the Imperial lines. The once mighty Tertios were broken, and the field was won. The Battle of Breitenfeld was not just a victory for the Swedish army, but a demonstration of the effectiveness of their revolutionary tactics. 
The traditional tertio formation, once thought invincible, had been bested by the innovative Swedish brigades. The implications of this were profound and far-reaching. The Battle of Breitenfeld, a turning point in the war, marked the rise of Sweden as a major military power. This was a day that changed the course of the war and altered the landscape of European warfare forever. The echoes of the Battle of Breitenfeld reverberated far beyond the battlefield. In the immediate aftermath, the Swedish victory at Breitenfeld significantly shifted the balance of power in Europe. The Habsburgs, who had dominated the continent for decades, were dealt a severe blow, their aura of invincibility shattered. On the other hand, the Swedish Empire, under the able leadership of King Gustavus Adolphus, emerged as a new powerhouse. Their successful use of innovative tactics and disciplined troops during the battle sent ripples through the military world and set new standards for warfare. But the impact of Breitenfeld was not confined to the battlefield. It echoed through the corridors of power, influencing the course of the Thirty Years' War. The victory bolstered the Protestant cause, infusing new life into the beleaguered forces. It drew new allies to the Swedish side, notably France, which despite being Catholic, was eager to curb Habsburg power. The Battle of Breitenfeld also left an indelible mark on the political map of Europe. It marked the beginning of the decline of the Holy Roman Empire and the rise of Sweden as a major power. The ebb and flow of power that ensued shaped the borders and alliances of Europe in ways that would last for centuries. But perhaps the most enduring legacy of Breitenfeld lies in military history. The battle showcased the effectiveness of the Swedish military reforms, particularly the flexible linear formation and the combined use of infantry and cavalry. These tactics were widely adopted and refined in subsequent conflicts, forever changing the nature of warfare. As we reflect on the Battle of Breitenfeld, it's clear that its significance extends far beyond the outcome of one battle, one war. It was a turning point that shaped the trajectory of European history, influencing politics, warfare and the balance of power for centuries to come. The Battle of Breitenfeld, a landmark in the annals of warfare, forever changed the course of history.